So we welcome Dr. Rodrigo Gomez Garcia, Senior Lecturer in Cultural and Communication Policies at Metropolitan Autonomous University in Mexico. He is the lead researcher for the Mexico region in the Global Media and Internet Concentration Project. Welcome, Dr. Garcia. Thank you so much. So first off, what motivated you to pursue research in your specific area of expertise? Well, uh, you can see that there is a lot of issues in relation with media and the ownership of the media. Um, I figured out that it was very important to try to understand what, why we have this kind of media systems and how could we improve this media landscape in my country and, of course, at regional level and globally, too. And why did you join the Global Media and Internet Concentration Research Project? This project tries to address what is going on with media concentration around the globe in terms to have data to compare globally and try to propose public policies to have a better media uh, ownership in terms of uh, an administration of, of the media at global scale, regional scale, and national scale. And why should people care about media concentration? Is media concentration a problem, both globally and in the region of the world that you study? In the case of Mexico, we have a high concentration media system that doesn't help to have pluralism and diversity of voices. Media, our media here in Mexico or in any country, plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion and influencing democratic process. So those are one, some of the main concerns that we have to be alert in relation with media uh, concentration. Thank you. Um, what do you think are the most important trends and developments in the media industries that we should be paying attention to in your country and internationally? Well, uh, the trends uh, uh, surely are the, the size of these new uh, internet giants because they are controlling a lot of of information globally the size is global so uh, the trend is huge because now we have to think not just locally or nationally uh, we have to think uh, globally because otherwise we are not going to control these internet technological giants You've already kind of addressed this, but I do want to ask, how do large digital platforms like Google, Amazon, Meta, Apple, Microsoft, Tencent, and others of this kind fit into your issues, um, sorry, fit into your thinking on these issues? No, they, they are crucial. These new internet tech, tech industries, as, as we know, as GAFAM and BAT in the case of the Chinese, they are having a lot of influence, and we have to understand their dynamics, understand how they are building power, corporate power, how they are managing all the data that they get from us. So it is a crucial new issue that we have to address to try to understand how media and communication and internet works globally. So our project is trying to figure out how to address at, at these new actors that are having an accumulating uh, money, power, and a uh, symbolic uh, power too. So uh, it's the last uh, frontier in our uh, issues and research agenda. What are the most pressing policy and regulatory issues that we face right now? Um, are there any specific examples from your region that we should be paying attention to? We have to address the ethics of artificial intelligence. 
The rise of artificial intelligence technologies, as we know, raises a, a lot of questions about accountability, transparency, and ethical considerations. In the case of Latin America, we are uh, trying to address these uh, problematics, these issues, but we don't have a good uh, practice or even a, a good uh, law or regulation that we can see that is happening now. The only country that is working seriously in net neutrality, in artificial intelligence and ethics, and in content moderation and online safety is Brazil. But at the moment, it's only in the stage of discussion. What has been the most difficult or frustrating part of doing research in the media in industries and media concentration? The lack of transparency of the companies. Uh, we sometimes don't have enough data to try to uh, understand how they work, their dynamics. So the lack of information, I think, is the, the most uh, frustrating. At the same time, uh, it's difficult to get access to interviews to them to try to uh, have some kind of conversation in terms of interviews to understand their logics and their policies. So I think uh, that both of those uh, issues are the most frustrating when we are doing uh, research in relation with these issues. Underneath the Global Media and Internet Concentration Project is the assumption that it will help us to better understand the media environment um, and whether or not it's improving. What are your views on this? If Totally agree. The idea is that after we finish this project, we will have more tools, more information to understand the new media and internet landscape. And at the same time, I think this is very important to try to recommend uh, media and internet policies to shape a better communication system globally, regionally, and locally. Well, that's it. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Garcia. This was wonderful. <laughs>